all the hate and all that. Right, big thank you from me and Bibi for, for your response for Friday. And um, what I didn't put on there was, of course, this Friday, if you've booked on Gym Catch, you will get a refund. Don't book Friday's isometrics on Gym Catch because you'll just get the link. You click on the link, guys, okay? Because it, it, it's a, it, it's a, it's not on us. It's on you because you're doing it. I'm just a guide at the front doing the old mouth on a stick bit as normal. Right, going to meet you all. There's a guy, it's absolutely, Cynthia, what's the weather like outside? It's lashing it down, isn't it? Horrendous. There's a guy outside with a leaf blower. I can't believe it. Most of the leaves are still in the tree, and he's blowing a road they haven't done for over a year. That's oh, Gordon Benny, his wife Mary, and the leaf blowers goldfish. All right, going to mute you all down. Mute it down, mute it down, mute it down. Nil quick medium pace. This is a lot about movement. Uh, it's a little bit like on the beam, where last week we broke that down to our moves. I'm going to do that again this week, all right, because the guys on that one class enjoyed it. The only thing we're missing it this Friday, I was going to do a bit of beam, a new one. Beam metrics, some isometrics on a beam, believe it or not. We'll do that the week after, probably. Or at some other given point. Let's get warmed up, guys. Hope you had all a fantastic weekend, right? Before we all start to go out swimming, liquid sunshine. Let's just start bringing those legs up. Anyway, just bring the, don't try and bring these super high, just nice and gently off the floor. Maria will be getting her spikes out of her toes. I can't put a picture on there, down to Maria, okay? But she's enjoying her operation. Actually, I've got a picture of her feet, and out of every single toe, there's a big wire sticking out the end of it. All right, looks like Edward feet hands, right there. But they'll be getting pulled out soon. Oh, we, oh, I shouldn't say. Oh, that's it. Oh, I've just made my toes go all curly saying that. All right, up and out, up and out, and out to in, out to in, two and three, and nice and gently, guys. Just raise those foot back up and back down. There we go. Nice and gentle. It was bath night yesterday. You always kick your feet up high on a Monday morning. I know what you do using your water on a, on a Sunday. Gently upwards, guys. Swapping it over, other foot. Here we go. There. We're going to spend a little bit extra. It could have not a lot. Two or three more minutes, maybe more. And it warm up today. Take it up there. Good stuff. Liking that. Two and a one. Imagine your beam is, bet is between your feet. But don't put your feet into railway lines. Have them relaxed out to the side normally as a stand and just roll it forwards and backwards. Roll it forwards and backwards. If you know anybody who has suffered from a loss of balance, this is one of the best ones to do, guys, because they're making themselves unstable and back, and it makes you exercise your core, makes you engage this area here, which as we get older, we switch off because we tend to use the bum, and then we switch that off by pushing our hands down on the chair when we go to stand up, and we start using the shoulders to start doing most things. Weird how we develop our bodies we get older because we don't think about it enough. Bring the hips forward, butt out to the range, a little bit more. Three, two, and a one. And let's just circle, keep the feet where they are, circle it round, get the spine nicely mobile, take it back round the other way two or three times as well. Liking that one. Hands to the side, lean over any side you want to, left or right. Feel a stretch in the waist and we don't go any further, just hold it there. Thinking 30%, thinking abs, pelvic floor, imaginary string. Up we come, call the other way. That was one of my special eight seconds, that was. Holding it there. Two and a one. And you're the next one. Let's bring the pointy fingers out. Concrete trousers on three times either side round we go. If you're ahead of me, it doesn't matter. Get tightness forward. I don't know how I that. That's from stirring porridge. There you go, stirring porridge is also spinal mobilization. It is the thickness of my porridge, it was like concrete this morning. Take it around that side and back to there. Fit people eat concrete porridge, round that way. Good, and back round towards me. And then last one, this side, round we go. Good. And back. Not going to say anything about the richest football club in the world getting beat by Tottenham yesterday. Because we knew what was going to happen. Bring it back. Stop smiling. I know who you are. All right. Mackham. All right. Take the hands up and out. <laughs> Turn the hands up. I'm breathing. Exhale down to our elbows low, guys. In this position now, you get a good posture. Nice posture. And just hold it there. This is our little bit of me time now. Get the brain cell, in my case, the brain in your case. Focus, push the hands out gently, 
just ease it out to a 15 out of 10. Then rotate the hands up, palms face the ceiling, and again, gently rotate the thumbs to the rear. Just keep trying to increase it. It's weird, isn't it? You rotate the hands to the rear and you start feeling all down the core and the chest and the top of the abs starting to work and come in. Keep that position there. I'm moving, look, so you know the internet hasn't frozen. It's going to click hand back in. There we go. Then, big deep breath in, go. Exhale down to the heart, elbows high. Three second isometrics pushing. Go, two, three. Hook those fingers over. Three second pull apart. Go, two, and a three. Thumb, hold that. Tommy Cooper, roll those shoulders around three or four times to the front. Three or four times to the rear. Good stuff. Hands up and out, palms facing me. Double boys fit club welcome. Lean back until you feel the pecs get a bit of a stretch. Then curve the hands back and just do the old looking up. A bit like, imagine if we'd all been doing a fitness class on Titanic. We'd have been on the bows like this, wouldn't we, as it went down. Okay, double boys fit club, what are they doing? <laughs> Good, gently come back up, guys. Pass towards me. Take off any concrete trousers and just rotate round left and right. This is a bit nippier. Round we go. In steps to out steps, protecting those knees. Good, taking that round. I like that one. You can feel to the weight of the arms. We've increased the speed. It's taken us around a little bit more. Mobilization to wall. Last one that side. Last one that side. Hands to the side and nice and gently, just a slow time side bends, but make a little teapot shape as the hands come back up. Feet are normal position. If you actually, you find yourself doing exercise like this and you do actually adjust your stance and move the feet out, let that happen. Don't bring them back in to normal. Because what's happening is you're doing your fitness, you will automatically start finding your own balance without even thinking about it. Last one that side. Last one that side, looking good. Okay, bringing the feet out. On that one then, let's join the dots. Let the long leg find its own length. Okay, turn the foot that way and we're down to an inductor stretch first off. So hold that there, two and one. Bringing the pointy finger up, curve it straight over. Lateral thoracic breathing all the way and over we go and reach forwards and out. So totally different to how we do it when we do it a yoga class, a Pilates or Saturday morning stretch. That's a thrust of breathing all the way. And bring that arm back up there, hold one more time. Down we'll go again, roll it over, reaching forwards. Oh, that feels good. See the second time, that a lot better. See the, the side of the chest getting opened up a bit more. And then bring it back, good stuff, good. Keep that posture, chest face one of the whites of the eyes, Hook it over and get that side bend lean. There. Now a big breath in. Exhale. And if you feel that you can, increase that 15, only a tiny bit. We'll get that big stretch down the side as well. Two and one. Bring it back up. Arc those hands down. Circle that arm around, guys. One or two times one way, one or two times the other. Bring that foot nice and straight. We're going to curve this way. So see what we're doing there? We're doing putting two together for a different type of uh, stretch, if you like. Hand up and out, different this side. We're going to take it straight down and hold. So keeping the hand up for the abductor stretch. Good. Now roll it over. That's a thoracic breathing all the way. Gently reaching forwards. Slowly getting to the 15 out of 10. A whole slow acceleration this morning. Two. One, bring it back up, and then bring the arm all the way down to the side, okay? Draw the shoulders round, just a normal abductor stretch now, taking that down there and holding. So I've done it, reverse having it the other side, just so you get the feel, and also to get into us, there's no wrong way. As long as everything's safe, we're all happy. Taking the hand up, guys, roll the chest over, reaching forwards, there, looking ahead, two, one, bring all the way back up, hold the hand there, Freddie Mercury pose looking good, and back we go again, over we go, there. You could say guys, we have just, we've actually started, when do we start our session? From when we start doing the stretches. It's not just the exercise phase, bring it back up, Arc the hand down, bring both feet together and get nice big circles with both arms. 
One way, then the other. One way, then the other. One way, then the other. Hands back to our hips. Keep the feet nice and straight. And bring, I've got string on your hips now. I'm pulling them forwards. You pull mine forwards. There. Good. To the extent you feel the glutes engage, okay? Especially the gluteus minimus. When all different muscles make up the, 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 the bum, whatever you want to call it. The minimus and maximus, the minimus is going to engage as you pull forwards. And you're going to feel that deep inside those adductors at the top of the leg and the hip flexors. Two, one, come back nice and straight. Now bring it forward again. There. And you will get a bit more movement. It might just be a millimeter. You'll get a bit more movement, guys. Two, feel the abs getting engaged. You're a bit sticking around, don't you? But they're being engaged. Two and one. Bring that back. Good stuff. Give it a nice shake out. And if you feel the tightness, you can do the wiggle the hips around, get the hands shaking. Rub. All these little habits we're trying to instill, the funny ones, the ones that, are, that we like doing, you know, when we're getting their fit and things like that. Okay, here we go, guys. It's just a gentle jog on the spot. As long as the toes are coming off the floor, we're nice and happy. And don't worry about it being on the spot. It's like, I've got to stay exactly where the feet are. You can have a little wander about in the same, the same place. This to there, good. Liking that one, okay? From there, we'll go down doing some squats. So we're going to do the feet together, normal and wide. And we're not doing 50. You thought I could say 45s, didn't you? We're going to do nine of each. Three, two, and a one. In steps together, hands on the thighs. Here we go, and it's not speedy. Heels nice and flat. One, back, two, back, three. That's it, good. Four, we like going for good technique. Five, because when we go faster, we all do it. The technique can go out the window because we want to work so hard. I keep talking, I lose count. Eight, and there is nine. Good, bring the feet out normal. Hands on the hips again. It's another nine. Here we go. On the toilet, off the toilet. There. So as I'm out looking at the screen, I can see myself there. I'm getting my eyes right level those fingertips. I call that four. Here we go. Five. And there. And six. Good. Seven. Feel the heart rate coming up now. And eight. And back. And nine. And back. Before we move on. Breath, hands up and out, turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, pause and hold. And arc it down. Good stuff, bring those feet out wide. If every, for every Monday we did, I don't know, you all voted without doing the Rocky, be great for the first six weeks. Then you'd be like, I'm gonna do something else. We know that, and that's why we talk about changing our different exercises. And the hands to here, ready? And go, one, there. So when you come down now, because we're doing control, medium pace, feel the glutes engage as you stand back upwards. All the muscles working through the legs, a huge stretch through the hamstrings, the position of the spine working effectively, ears, shoulders, hips, all aligned, and how stable you are on the floor with the feet nice and flat. When you all started, I bet most of us were doing squats and the heels were coming off the floor. One more for this one, here we go. There and back up, and shake your leg, walk it around, guys. Remember, that is a full body exercise. It's working right through the nervous system, the heart, the lungs, everything, and the mental focus. We like that one. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you start the other lung up. So one lung for breathing in, one breathing out. Remember that one. Bring the hands level, semi-sumo, okay? Then to the side, and it's side bends, bringing the hands to teapot handles. Over we go. And the main focus, this one is, don't lean. I've seen people doing side bends. The faster they get, the more they're like this. What it turns into, I do not know, but certainly not a side bend. There. Good. Up we go. Fantastic. That's mainly men. I hate to say it, but I don't hate to say it. Because how really fast they can, they bend forwards, and it's just not a side bend anymore. Little arm impressions of spiders, I think. That's what it is. Just keep that one going, guys. You know how much is working the muscle. It just so happens... Remember last week we did the um, the boxing one, wasn't it? The well, kickboxing, yeah. And people were aching the next day. This is, up, this is doing, out we go there. It's working all those muscles. And because we've got no weights, you're not going to build up that muscle in the waist. You're going to be pulling it inwards. Two and one there. And pause, stop, bring it out. Feel that there? You're getting back to your doctors again on a side bend because we're focusing on working the body, looking good. Okay, here we go. Arms to here. And it's the high knees. 
So again, we're not going for speed as we do some weeks, or we go for time or how many. We're just counting them out, guys, counting the time and watching the clock. And we're just raising up at our own pace, our own speed. And I'm trying to get the knee to touch the forearms every single time if I can now. There. So it's quality by raising up. We'll get maximum range of movement, the wrong that we talk about. I'm frothing the mouth already. Concrete porridge makes me froth the mouth even more. Good. Driving it up. So although we're doing a medium pace, can you now feel the body heat increasing? That's coming up. Everything's working. The body look this sort of stuff. In a way, to be honest, for posture, balance, effectiveness. By doing these, when we do the fast stuff, you execute it a lot better. Last one that side, last one that side. Arc it down, shake it out. Let's get a breath. Hands up and out, turn up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. You'll never guess who's walked into the room without saying his voice. It's a possible welcome. Hello. I know that talk. It's you saying, and you heard him, all right? Here we go. He's here to see the 10 second sprinters. This is the first fast one, okay? Focusing though on those hands, the karate chops. So first, starting off nice and slow to there. Just get your rhythm going, get in there. Whites of the eyes now. Are we ready? Look at my elbow legs going out the side. Here we go. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a 10. And walk it back. Breath time, hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold it there. Two and a one. All right. Big full body, your own pace. Jumping jacks, not doing them for ages. It's mobility, it's speed and agility. And it's there, guys. Nicely up on the toes. Nice and relaxed. Focus is the knees bending. On the toes, using the foot, using the plantar fascia. Here we go, springiness. And the, what's the hands doing? They're controlling the feet. We know that one. Palms facing one another. Three, two, one. Job done, walk that around. Good stuff. Like it. From there, oh, guess it's push-ups, but we're on the knees. On the challenge, guys, I know it's not, most people are going to be watching this class later, as well, so you'll all get to see. On the challenge, keep those feet long. You've all got one proper push up in you, all right? Another one by Friday is 100% improvement, but you're all gonna do more than that. On the knees for this one, make sure the hips are above the knees and the shoulders are above the hands, like a tabletop. You're gonna feel very narrow. Normally bring the hands out to the front one. We're not doing that one. Shoulder width apart, push ups. We're gonna do 10 of these, ready? No, we're not, 11, don't like even numbers, go. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a 10. Good, and now we can have a little lie down. Because you know what I'm gonna say next, it's sit up time. But again, we're not increasing that speed like we did a couple of weeks ago. Okay, gap between the knees, fist, feet on the floor, hands to our thighs. In time with me, it's 11 good ones. Here we go. Up we come one. Head and shoulders off the floor, two. And I don't mean hold a bottle of shampoo up in the air. Three and four <laughs> and five. Well, I make myself laugh sometimes at six and seven. Good, eight and nine, 10. Last one is 11, good. And we bring that back down, guys. And off we come. That's eight exercises done already so far. I've just thought of some two or three head and shoulders jokes, actually, but I'm not gonna tell them because it's a family, pro family program. <laughs> I never, might never see you again. All right, here we go. We're gonna crack this straight on to the second phase. It's jogging on the spot, guys. Jogging on the spot, same as before, all right? Well, this time, let's have a little wander about. Do a little circle if you want, left and right. Imagine you're in that boxing ring doing the rocky thing, up on the toes, 
And all of this going left and right, speed and agility up on the toes, we know that balance thing, lightness of the feet, and being able to move those feet quickly left and right. Really, really important thing, all right? Speed and agility. Good stuff. Three, two, one. A little pause. We're going to bring those feet out. Let's get a mark. Bring them out. Nice wide sumo. Big wide sumo squats. We're going to do nine of these. Hands on the knees. They're coming up this wide, all right? We're doing a bit like a New Zealand rope all blacks hacker, if you like. Ready? One. Back. Two. Feel the butt's got to be stuck out a lot more to the rear there. Three. Four. Go for depth. That's the main focus on this one. Five. Back. Six. And. Seven. And back. Eight. And. Nine. And there. And squish those feet back in. Good. And shake it out. If you want to behind me, you've got that time this session to finish off your numbers. All right, guys? Well done. Good. I think you deserve a little bit of a clap for that one. Side bends. We brought the feet in. Now bring a narrow stance here. So insteps together, hands to the hips, wiggle the hips around. We want to reset those hips through all the stresses we've just done. Take it back around the other way on the wide because we're going to go back to the same position. Two and a one. Nice and wide. There. Feet will have to be railway tracks as long as they're comfortable. Hands to the sides, side bends. Feel the difference now. Here we go. There and there. You've really got to work this one, but not too fast because that nice slow stuff gets the body going over. It's big muscular strength and endurance. And the more you get your fingers curled up, make a little teapot hand, the better your teapot handle, the stronger we are. I nearly said the stronger the brew. Okay, I must be getting thirsty. Round we go. Left and right. Like this one. We're going to speed it up a little bit next. Ready. A count down. Three and two and one and back and squish those feet in. We're getting a combo today of a big stretch coupled with the muscle strength and endurance using that own body weight. Massive exercises. Right, the next one. Check you've got no low light fittings, all right? This is high knee jumps. Now it's getting both feet off the floor. Use the arms, as the arms come up, their knees come up as well. And we're gonna do in our own time, all right? Five, no more than that, five, okay? So I've got my insteps about six inches apart. I slightly bend those knees and I launch into it. It's gonna be a one and back down. Two, height, good. Three, fantastic. Four, good. Five, good control. Well done, guys. You know what? At all the different fitness things I've ever set up, when I put hurdles out for adults, they hate getting both feet off the ground at the same time. We just don't like it, all right? Well done. I like that one. Good. Nice and high. Here we go. Yes, be quick. I've sent you soon to go and have another, another glass of rum. You drink some of rum these days. It's 20 seconds, guys. Get ready on the toes. Here we go. Get the arms going at the same time. Get my cockney barrier boy knees going out. It looks funny, doesn't it? Look at that. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right. St straight ahead. Right, Tracy, I'm going to turn you off. There's too much laughter there. All right. So here, 20 seconds. Ready, guys? Get your eyes off me. Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway, 11, 12, B machine, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good stuff. Walk around, shake it out, guys. Walk around, shake it out. Good. Liking it. Oh, my next one's a favorite. Take the hands up and out. Turn them up. Breathe in. It's also Bill and Ben, their favourite, and Little Weed. It's the Spotty Dog, guys. And if you don't know what Spotty Dog is, Google it, right? Because all these joints were all loose, had little paper clips, but we loved it, didn't we? All right. Cynthia's looking now thinking, I don't know who you're talking about, Tug. Yes, you do. <laughs> Ready? Spotty Dogs, guys. So it is. There. 
at your own speed on the toes, nice and controlled. Go a little bit left and right. It looks crazy mad, but you can feel the hard work that it is. Good, count down three, two, and a one. Good, another breath, because you're gonna need it. Hands up, <laughs> always oh, threatening us. Yes, I'm whispering now. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Good. This is your own time. I'm going to do five of them, and I don't care. You know, I don't care if you do do one. It doesn't matter. I'm doing five. I've done my five. A few more seconds till you stand up facing me. We're doing burpees in your own time, not fast, nice and slow. Quality, quality, guys. All right. You're not sure. You can always watch me in the first movement, as, as always, okay? So, here we go, down we go. Out, back, jump up. There, out, back, jump up. Out, back, jump up. Out, back, jump up. And there. Good. Well done. Nice one. You know why people don't like burpees? Because when they don't do them, in a circuit training class, and it's down, drive, and whoever's instructing that class is making them do thousands. And the ones at the front, the young gazelles, are doing thousands. The ones like us at the back are like, you've got to be kidding. And the competition comes in, and then people don't like it, all right? Well done, five, like it. So from there, lie down time, here we go. It's more sit-ups. We're aiming for 15 this time, all right? Notice I said aim, all our own level. You've all got 15 in, you hands the thighs, same as before, follow me, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good, and back to our feet, guys, not even then, nice and controlled, no need to launch yourself up. Oh, quick question, who's the best at it, all right? David Jason, or what's his face, what's he called again, that guy? Bradley Walsh, yeah, I think David Jason himself, Darling Buds and May Larkins, uh, very fine line. Okay, jogging on the spot, keep it going, here we go on the feet. You know, the first time we did this session, I got three lots of eight exercises written there. I followed them today for a change. I've actually followed my own script. <laughs> Unheard of. We didn't even get to the second lot, you know that, on the toes, guys. I'm moving it around front to rear, a little bit left and right. So notice the second set we increased slightly. The third set we increased slightly. We've kept the same speed, although we're working harder. And we can feel the sweat and the glow. It's a great start to the week. So I'm back to the middle. Okay, just get the job the spot going. And we're going to come down to a stop now. It is in steps together to there. 20 of these narrow squats, nice straight lines. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway beer machine, 10. Brilliant, guys. Fantastic. Good. Call that 13. 14. Looking good. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up and shake it out. Is that too easy after last week's 45? Don't shake your head, all right? Or don't nod your head and go, that's too easy, Tug. We want more, all right? Good. From there, guys, we're going to bring, now, watch this one. Want the feet, bring the steps together and separate them one foot width. It's narrower than a beam. Hands to the side. Side bends in this position are really weird because when we bend sideways, we want to bring our feet up. We're not going to let that happen. Ready? There and there. Now, feel what happens. It takes the side bend from the waist up into the shoulders, the other way round, not the waist down into the feet. There. Why a good thing to do? 
because sometimes we find ourselves in situations where our feet are narrow stanced or narrow balancing and we have to lean over. We can't get our feet out to help keep the balance. Therefore, we're educating our brain to move the body over left and right outside the circle of balance, which I call it, that the feet take up in the area. Three and two and one. Good. You're going to, this next one's one of your favorites. I know it is. It's the long leg lunge walk, guys. We're not doing 12. We're not doing six or seven. We're doing 100 and, no, we're not. I read that wrong. We're doing 15. We ready? Back knee gently kissing, good posture. If you can, go as low as you can. One, two, three. Round we go. Four, five, six. Round we go. Usain's shaking his head. He thinks we should do this faster, but we're not going to. There, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here we go. Three for luck. One and two and three. And back we come. We're doing exercise this morning. It's the first time we've done them since we did the, the weekly challenges, all right, on the days for the past two weeks. Good stuff, guys. Like it. Shaking it out. Feeling good. Jogging on the spot. Jogging on the spot. Good. To there. Okay. Pick the middle of the room for this one. Hands, palms facing me. We know this works. We don't know how it does. It's left and right, guys. There. Good. My hands, does my hand steps you do? It's the toes off the floor and speed and agility. Around we go left and right. Good, like it left and right. To the middle for a stop. Check nothing behind you. Front and rear. Good. And check nobody watching you has thrown something behind you. Front and rear. Good. There. There we go. Front and rear. Fantastic. Last one to front. Oh, I'm going dizzy here. I'm getting bigger and bigger and smaller and smaller. Good. And to the front. And just on the toes. Finish it off there. Two and a one and a pause walk that around by now we should all have our heart rate up to that our rate where we're working hard we've got recovery at the same time going on and we can actually keep this going for a long time all right we're getting to our own cruise speed if you like hands up and out turn the palms up breathing exhale down you know what? i feel really good this morning arc those hands down that's you that's a thank you to you guys all right from there here we go. Bring the feet out just a bit wider than normal hip width. So Del Boy you're about to run away with his suitcase, doesn't know which way he's going to go around the policeman. Hands up and out, palms to here, left and right. I should be getting paid for this only fools and horses advertising I'm doing, shouldn't I? Take it around left and right, guys. Now start taking those hands a bit further. To do that, remember the little trick. Turn the head and follow the lead arm left and right. That'll get a bit more of an increase. Like in that one, slowly start bending forwards 45 degrees and keep that there, 45 degrees. Take the arms nice and wide. Now bending forwards and we're getting it outside the legs, swiveling left and right. And now from there, slowly start bringing it all the way back up to the start, like we're facing each other. Round we go, three and two and a one. And we arc those hands nicely down. And I'm checking the time. Anybody think I planned it? I'm going to adjust this because we're going to go down the floor and we're not going to get back up. We're going to be there three o'clock this afternoon when the kids come back from school. All right. On our stomachs, guys. Here. There. Arms straight. Feet to the rear. Okay. It's going to be swimming. We're just raising the arms up. So raise your left level. Left, left arm, right leg. Then we switch it over the other way. Ready? So up, down, right, down, left, there. So right arm, left leg, left, right, left, right, left, right. Good. There. Feel that back working hard. We're going to stretch it out in a second. Right, left. Right, left, three, and two, and one. Good. It's got to be a cat stretch, guys. Up on the knees, good tabletop. Short with your Pilates knowledge. 
get a good position. Any Pilates instructor will recognize you know what you're doing straight away. Trust me. Breathe in. Exhale. Cat stretch. Push it upwards. Oh, doesn't that feel so good? That's what thoracic breathing. We've got one slot of sit-ups to do. We're doing 15 in three and two and a one. Round we go. On our backs. Get to the position. Fist width between the knees. Feet flat on the floor. Shoulders and head coming up. This is your last exercise. Show off. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, two, one. Good stuff. Up we come. I'm going to rush into the screen and press ye old magic button. I've got to get rid of that bit in the middle as well. Don't mind that. Isn't it weird? You know what I've noticed? Those of you guys have your dogs about, when you're finished, they know when you finish the class because they, they all start rushing in saying, oh, well done. <laughs> Stop giving you a bit of a wash. Or oh, they're looking forward to the sweat. That's what I reckon it is. Sorry, ladies, the glow. All right. Let's take those hands up and out, guys. You've been, I really enjoyed that. It was a good class. Feel the effect of it. One, two, three, big clap because you deserve it. Go, yes. <laughs> My jump. Let me cock the Barry boy coming into the screen. There you go. Fantastic, guys. <laughs> Catch, always laugh at yourself, guys. You laugh at yourself. Have a great day. Have a good day. Be safe, all right? Oh, glowing faces, love it. Okay. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everybody. Cup of tea time now.